Manchester United won their first game of the 2024-25 Premier League season against Fulham and the United Twins need to speak about it. Blessings to everybody inside, including yourself, Cappy. Make you. sure you're hitting that like button, subscribing if you're new, sharing to your friends and frenemies. And Manchester United won full and nil, and it was just a result to kick off the season. Joshua Zerxe coming off the bench to poke home the winner from an Alejandro Garnacho cross, two substitutes combining. It was a game where we started slow. Both sides honestly were looking to assert their dominance through physicality and as, as we grew into the game, the chances that we didn't create earlier on started to present themselves. That all comes from us adding some extra zip to our passes, of course accuracy matters too. Executing a little better in the final third and we saw examples of what that could be. Casemiro who I thought was great, winning back the ball and combining with Mason Mount and Bruno Fernandes who couldn't finish the flash 1v1. That was probably our best opportunity of the first half and there were many examples of combinational sequences that I feel the more you work on it is the more likely they are to be successful. The beautiful thing about the game of football is how spontaneous it can be sometimes and I feel for Manchester United that is an area they need to elevate. Combining tactical understandings of their opposition counterparts with unpredictable elements that really brings the game to life. Hey, some, some more about the attacking end as well. It, it was great to see Xerxes get off the mark on his debut. Mm. When you look at the type of player he is, very unique, willingly drops deep, wants to receive the ball and is positive in those scenarios as well. The goal he scored in the end started from him calling for receiving and, and turning towards goal and then it's the run he makes inside the area to add the finishing touches. Those elements to his game if all goes well can create an extra level of chaos and confusion for opposition defenders. The kind of variety that you and I both have been calling out for CM. Coaching will be a big part of how successful this entire front line is. But having the skill sets of Ahmad Garnacho and everybody else will be an exciting thing to watch across the course of this season as the team molds itself into what I like to think of as the next stages of development. That also comes with consistency, not just in result form but performances as well. We have a long way to go in that regard and there was a stark drop off in the second half which as Man United fans we've seen on multiple occasions across the last few seasons and honestly I'd love to see those inconsistencies over time eradicated. Time will tell if those dreams will come true however. Well, speaking of dreams, a transfer window is still to be completed. Talks of Manuel Ugarte to United still being on is a thing. I believe we should still be prioritising a midfield signing in the form of a defensive minded player to help bolster and solidify. And I wouldn't also be opposed to strengthening in the left back department. I don't think we should just see Mashraoui as this ultra versatile guy who can cover because we sold Aaron Wambisaka. The low will be the only senior option, so it's time to make a decision considering the fact that we know Luke Shaw has struggled with his fitness for long enough now to understand that we cannot put his body through the week in, week out, every few days stress that a 50 plus game season brings. And then as for Terrell Manassi, who just turned 25 happy belated, we don't know when he'll return and what version of Malassia we will get when he does. So there are a, a lot of things to think about in that regard. I'm, I'm not too sure about the left back scenario. I am pretty confident we will look to, to strengthen in that midfield. And I think we have to if we really want to build some consistency and significantly improve this season alone. So let me know what you think in the comments. Which areas would you like Manchester United to improve upon? from now until the end of the transfer window. So here what, we have the, the early kickoff on Saturday against Brighton who had themselves the perfect start. We were a 3-0 victory against Everton. Fabian Hersler, youngest manager in the league, would have been delighted with that. And when you look at their entire team, it will be a strong test as always against Brighton. Jan Kuba Minte had a strong performance, assisted Mitoma's goal before having to go off with a precautionary head injury. Simon Adingla, Joao Pedro, Danny Welbeck still going strong also. Wow. Away from that, we should have a video coming out potentially midweek, so we'll let you know if that comes to fruition. 
But for now, make sure you're hitting that like button, subscribing if you're new, sharing to your friends and frenemies. Tell us how you felt about Manchester United's first game of the season, first win of the season against Fulham and what you're expecting moving forward. Everything we spoke about in this video and until the next time, we'll see you lot soon.